the bacon off of here. Guys, Joshua Skinner Farms coming back at you today. I want to make Miss Amy some club sandwiches on the Blackstone. So we got it all fired up here. I'm gonna shut her down. Good and hot. I'm just gonna go in the house, get some bacon, some ham, turkey, uh, get some bread, get it ready to get it toasted up, and we'll see what we can come up with. All right, we're running about 320 right here. Two seventy-five on that side. So, got our little hickory knife, our handy dandy blackstone cutting board. Cut our bacon in half. We got our bacon down, and we got a whole pound of bacon here. We like bacon. If I can get it to come apart without tearing it up. This is one piece, I think. Uh, We're gonna get our bacon down, get everything going. We'll bring back. So I'm doing the videoing right now. A note to oneself, do not buy Eckridge bacon. I took the easy way out. I went was at the box store and just bought some bacon. I thought we could cook it on the grill. The stuff is so thin. Like we have the, the, the Blackstone turned down. And I mean, there's some of it that's okay. Um, people eat Eckridge bacon all the time, but this is just really thin bacon. It'll be okay to build a sandwich with, but I would not recommend it for anybody yeah. Ever. You spend the money, buy the more expensive stuff, and. What well, he said. Spend the extra money. Don't buy the cheap. Paper bacon. Pound or whatever it is. Bacon. Normal. Five dollar a pound bacon or whatever it is. We won't be buying it much longer because. Yeah. We'll have it out homegrown stuff. But this stuff is just. This is ridiculous. I mean. It's really thin. I mean, but the thing is, is not everybody buys the expensive bacon like that we've bought before, where it's the, you know, it's, it's a local grocery store, but they have the, it's the air dry pack, and it's the, I don't know how many, it's probably, was it 10 pounds of bacon? Or 5 pounds? Yeah, it's by 5 pounds, and it's like they have the hickory smoke, and we've had the peppered before, but it's really thick sliced bacon, so it cooks up nice. This, some of it's burnt, I mean, it was burning... Not because we had it up too high, because... Got the blackstone on low. Yeah. I got this burner completely off. And it's... And we could try to pretend like, oh, this is everything's just fine. Um, everything will be good, but we just, you know, this is just something that, you know, if you're going to have a hankering for a, a club sandwich or a BLT or something, don't use this bacon. It's not... It'll be okay. We can... I'm not knocking extra at all. No. I, I mean, I love their bologna and everything else, but this bacon is just... It's more... I wonder what you would be good for, because... Bacon bits, I reckon. I guess. Chop it all up. And... Yeah. It smells good, though. And I had the genius idea of... Because it was literally so thin, thin sliced, putting two pieces on there at the same time. But then, two pieces... Got stuck to a third piece, and now he's playing mad scientist dissecting stuff. So we'll be back in just a minute with we're gonna toast the bread, um, we're gonna warm up the ham and the turkey a little bit, and we'll be back. All right, I watched a video not too long ago. Someone was saying keep it real. We tried to do that here on our channel, and I'm not like I said, I'm not knocking extra, but I'm not gonna tell you that. That bacon didn't suck because it did. But 
Cheddar ham, you warm it up here a little bit. Cut up our tomato already. already. Cut the tomato up with the, the old hickory. These are my favorite knives now. I mean, if they have this one, is uh, I think it's almost it's 11 or 14 inch, whatever it is. They got a seven inch. They're great. Those are blackstone. Gonna warm up some turkey here for Miss Amy. I didn't shut the blackstone off. Everything's still just hot. So it's gonna have an easy, easy supper tonight. Quick sandwiches. Just wanted to show Blackstone some love. So it didn't feel left out. We got that. The new Weber kettles over there. Uh, new Oklahoma Joe. Uh, offset smoker. We're going to make sure everybody feels the love. Ham and turkey's already cooked. We're just warming it up. Well, we're cool side. I got this. I went ahead and fired this burner back up so we can toast our buns and stuff. Get a light toast on these. Our favorite, well, one of my favorites, it's the onion bun. The bread that we're using is what is it? Farmhouse bread. Farmhouse Pepperidge Farm. I'm trying to get where I can get him in the shot and then there's blackstone and all the yummy goodness. You can turn those over if you want. Those will be enough. We have August weather in June. It's so much fun. I don't know what the temperature is today, but... It wasn't really supposed to be that high. I think it was only supposed to be like 84, but it lies. Yeah, 84 and a 300 degree griddle. Get this finished up and we get us a sandwich built and we back show what you got. What we got. Let's see, I got some ham, turkey, mayo, honey mustard. Bacon, tomato. Let's see how it turned out. 
Oh, looks good. It's got taste. He reminds me of our youngest son, Caden always does that. Even with the Eck Ridge bad bacon, it's still good, huh? Son. Didn't have the lettuce or cheese on it. Got some cheese in there, but I decided against it, so. Nothing flat. Took us all up. Five minutes to do this. And way to go. So, well, I hope you like this video. Get the bacon and the teeth on. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed. Thank you to our servicemen and women and our veterans for keeping old Miller flying high on the farm out there. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.